You know, with this winter storm watch coming, it is the perfect time to talk about the Rochester Figure Skating Club and their big show that is happening. Hey, it's James Raby on the Y105 FM early morning show. Debbie Colgan from the Rochester Figure Skating Club is in the studio with me. We could talk a lot about the details and the ticket prices and all that jazz for the upcoming Rochester Figure Skating Club show. But I'd like to talk to you about what is exciting for you about it. What do you what do you love to see when they're out skating? My favorite thing is watching the kids under the lights. You know, you sit back, you've done all this work, you've had this vision for a long time, and the kids put all the pieces together and they're so happy. They love it. You've said that there are people that come back for this show year after year because they've been in it themselves when they were in high school or yeah, whatever. They're still excited. They, they sit down, the lights turn out, and they get the buzz. You know, <laughs> that's so so exciting, and people come because it's a great show. What kind of things do they see this year? Well, this year the real excitement is first of all the club invested in a lot of new lighting, so we really have like Disney quality lighting. Oh, excellent! And the guys are having so much fun with this new toy. <laughs> you can imagine <laughs> running it off their phones and playing with it. So that's going to be really cool. And the other thing is we have guest skaters. One of them, you were talking about people coming back, is a former skater with us who family moved to Colorado and then he graduated from high school and is in Florida training. He's a pair skater. So he and his partner are coming. Oh, okay, excellent. Which is really cool. And then we also have a, a skater from Minnetonka who is a Minnesota boy, grew up and was in the top 10 at nationals three times. Wow. Yeah, it's kind of a little of everything, including father, daughter. Is that is that kind of amusing? Yes, yeah. and they, it's amusing to the guys in it, too. Right. They, they do a pinwheel, a forearm pinwheel, and they've nicknamed it the Wheel of Death. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I like that. So the shows are tonight and tomorrow at 7 p.m. And there's a matinee Sunday at 2. All right, excellent. Debbie, thank you so much for talking to me today about the Rochester Figure Skating Club shows coming up. It is their 81st year, so when you're there, go ahead and yell, 81! Woo! This is Y105 FM. To make sure they get the tickets early? Well, we'd like to get people to get tickets early. Of course, they pay more at the door, so that's okay for us, too. All right. But there's usually some room. All right. Um, I, there was one other question I had for me. Is there anything else I should be asking you that you'd like to talk about? No, except 81 years. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, we should <laughs> mention that. 81 years. I know, think about now, it. Now, you haven't run this thing for 81 years. No, I'm just a slightly older. <laughs> How did it begin? Um, for me, you mean directing? Yeah, how'd you get into it? Oh, I, I don't know. I mean, I grew up in the show. I right. was born here. Okay. I grew up in the show. I loved the show. And uh, I just took to the directing part. They asked me, and I loved it, and I think about it all the time. Okay. So I'm always a few years ahead in thinking. <laughs> No, really. <laughs> well, uh, no, I believe you. I absolutely believe you. I work with people that have to put on home shows and women's expos, and they're always trying to think a few years you ahead. Always. You have your list of, oh, is this the year for that? Well, no, maybe mm. next year. You know? Well, and you watch for students, I suppose. And, sure. Um, what happens uh, when, when you, you're preparing for the show? Great. But what happens before all that? Are there, are there classes kids are just in? How do, where do you pull the students from? Uh, two things. Everybody starts in the group classes to okay. learn to skate. And you asked me before we went on air, uh, there are kids as young as two who come out and learn to skate. And what you really hope is they'll have so much fun that they'll want to continue on and develop the specialties, right. the ice dancing, the jumps and spins, being on a team. And we're really good about encouraging kids to have other activities and sports in their lives too good that's good it's it's yeah a uh, uh, mono interest is fine if you're if you really love it but sometimes you know a kid doesn't needs to see around a little bit yeah i think it makes them better athletes and better people well i, I think seeing a bunch of different things experiencing life in different ways makes everyone more interesting i agree and i would think would also help their skating yeah it does help them see different perspectives because it's not just a thing they're doing it's an art also it pulls from their soul sure and the older they get the more soul they have i think right that's <laughs> to, true to pull from <laughs> all right well thanks for talking to me today thank you i'm in this good morning it's y105 fm's early morning show my name is james raby and i'm in the studio with the With a winter storm watch on the way tomorrow, it's perfect weather for the Rochester Figure Skating Club to do their thing, because it almost feels like it.
So the shows are tonight and tomorrow. All right, excellent. Debbie. Where do I want to go today? Well, it's simple. Because it's Friday, where do I want to go to? Where do I want to go today? If you can figure it out. Where do I want to go today? Well, I'm going to make it someplace really easy to guess because it's Friday. Ready? Here's your hint. It rhymes with Lort Ryers, Florida. Florida! Again, it rhymes with Lort Ryers, Florida. Florida!